What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. For today's video, I have a new lens by Zhang Yi Optics. Now, full disclosure, they sent me this lens out for free in exchange for a review and to give you guys my opinion. So that's what we're gonna be doing today. Now this is a 135 millimeter f 2.5 lens and it's specifically designed for Nikon Z camera mounts. Now I have some sample photos to show you guys, but before we jump into that, I just wanted to talk to you guys about this lens and who it's for. Typically you use a 135 millimeter lens for headshots and wider portraits because it gives you good compression and bokeh. Now this 135 millimeter lens also gives you some more distance between you and the subject so it's a lot less intrusive which comes in handy in certain scenarios. Since this is a pre-release lens I don't have all the specs on it but I'm pretty positive it's an aluminum alloy body and it weighs in around a pound and a half. It also has a built-in lens hood that you can slide out whenever you need it and it accepts filters at 67 millimeters. Now this is a manual focus lens and it's one of its biggest drawbacks, especially if you're dealing with moving subjects. So for example, I was photographing my dog and I definitely had my fair share of misses before I finally nailed the shot. So if you plan on using this for sports or children or animals or things of that nature where there's decent amount of movement involved, this might not be the way to go. But this is definitely a good lens if you're doing portraits with people that could follow instructions. And one of the things that made my life a little bit easier was using the viewfinder and then I would compose my shot and zoom in using the little plus icon, the magnification button. And then I would fine tune my focus while looking through the viewfinder and then I would snap away. And that seemed to work out really well to capture my portrait shots. So we're gonna jump on the computer and I'll show you guys some more examples of this lens and some of the things I like and some of the things I don't like. All right, so here we are at the computer side of things and I have some sample shots taken wide open with this lens. And here is a shot of Wyatt Baby. As we zoom in, um, I was able to focus on his eye and get a couple of good shots of him down here. And it was pretty tricky because he is a moving subject and dealing with a manual focus lens it is a lot harder than um, you know, than using an autofocus lens, just because of all the movement with his head. Um, I definitely, especially wide open and this close to him, it was definitely a challenge. But you can make it work. Um, I don't necessarily recommend this lens for moving subjects like children or animals. Um, you're better off using this lens with adults that can stay still for doing portrait shots. So, for example, here's some shots of Janelle. We'll zoom in here. I was able to. Uh, get my composition and then I zoomed in with the back of my uh, view when I was looking through the viewfinder and just made sure I got the focus you know on her arm and close to her eye as this loads in right here and this again this is wide open ISO 180 1 800th of a second at 135 millimeters and it has decent bokeh again we can see here in the background and here's some more shots of her just goofing around and these are just raw shots, so we could apply a filter to them, make them pop a little bit more. But you get the idea, it's a decent portrait lens for probably a fraction of the cost. When they release the Nikon version of this lens, I would imagine it's gonna be a couple grand, and this will definitely not be that high of a price tag. Now you could also use this for some landscape shots. I was in Acadia National Park and I snapped a few landscape shots here. Um, no editing was applied, I just brightened it up because I was a little underexposed before, but this was taken at f8. I was testing the corner to corner sharpness when stopped down, so let's zoom in here. And you can see, um, once you have your focus dialed in, that you get good corner to corner sharpness. Typically between f5, 6 to f11 is your sweet spot. That's what I've noticed. Um, I also took some shots into the sun, which uh, doesn't really handle flare too well. But, you know, this is an extreme example. Uh, if we look at these series of photos down here, you can see the vignetting at 2.5, and here's at 2.8, and it starts to go away around f4, and then it gets better at f5.6. Now, the one thing I noticed that was kind of strange with this lens on really bright days is this, like, ghosting haze in the middle of the lens when I stopped it down. So... Here is at 2.5, and here's at f8. 
see this uh, hazy ghosting in the middle here. I think that's because the lens hood needs to come out a little bit further. I kind of mitigated this when I put my hand past the lens hood. Same thing, I shot this at f8 and so that ghosting went away. Um, it's still obviously a little hazy. I mean, that's easy to fix with, um, you know, by changing these adjustments here and adding dehaze, I can make this look a lot better. But in the middle here, it definitely has a lighter part and I believe that's from the lens hood. I did make Zhang Yi Optics aware of this, so maybe they could fix it in the future moving forward. But um, that's just something to take in consideration if you're planning on using this for landscapes on bright days. Uh, cloudy days, it doesn't seem to be as much of a problem. And obviously, if you're going to use this for landscapes, typically you're going to be doing it during sunrise or sunset, so it shouldn't be too much of an issue. I would expect most people that get a 135 uh, f2.5 lens, their primary use is going to be for portraits. So this really shouldn't deter too many people from getting this lens. Let's jump over to Photoshop and I'll show you guys some sharpness tests that I did with this lens. All right, so here we are in Photoshop and I have several images that I took with the Zhang Yi at different apertures and then I needed a lens to compare it to. So I used my Nikon 70 to 200 F mount lens at 135 millimeters at F4 because that's as wide open as that lens goes. And we're gonna zoom in here, starting with F2.5 versus my F4. The top image is the Zhang Yi at f2.5. The bottom is our Nikon. And let's go to 300%. Now you can see in the middle, it's not quite as sharp for the Zhang Yi. And as we move towards the corners, it gets even softer. That's pretty much to be expected when you're wide open with the lens. Um, let's stop that down to 2.8. The sharpness starts to come back here in the center. It's very close to my Nikon F4 and as we move towards the corners it's maintaining its sharpness but again still not quite as sharp as the F4 Nikon. Let's do F4 versus F4 and go back into the middle here and we can see that haze starting to creep in as well in the middle but it looks like as far as sharpness goes I'm at 400 percent and it's really hard to tell a difference here Let's go over to the corners. Uh, yeah, they look almost identical. Um, hard to really pick a winner. The, the leaves look a little bit sharper on the Zhang Yi towards the corners here versus down here. Uh, let's go to the other side really fast. So in this corner we have this tree uh, yeah, maybe a hair sharper with the Zhang Yi, but very close, really hard to tell. So let's go back to the middle here and go with our 5.6. At 5.6 I have to give the sharpness to the Zhang Yi, especially when we go towards the corners here. You can really see the difference. So look at these leaves up here versus down here. They're definitely softer on the Nikon. Jump over to this side, use this tree. Yeah, it's not by much, but it's definitely sharper with the Zhang Yi as we stop it down. Now again, I don't think you're gonna buy this lens to stop it down for landscape photography. I think most people are gonna purchase this to do portraits for weddings or headshots or um, you know engagement shoots, things of that nature. I think that's what this lens is gonna be great for. Um, so I'm not too concerned about that haze that's starting to develop here in the middle on bright days. It's not an issue when you're shooting wide open. So if you're shooting at like f2.5 or f2.8, that um, hazy middle like ghosting thing, it's really not an issue wide open. It only it seems to be doing it when you stop it down. And as I was saying before, maybe they could elongate the um, lens hood to mitigate that. But that's something that has to be uh, addressed by Zhang Yi Optics. But overall, I think the lens is pretty decent. Um, it has its shortcomings that, again, you're gonna have to weigh out the pros and cons of the cost savings and you know dealing with a manual focus lens versus uh, paying for a really expensive lens that has autofocus, but 
you know, if you don't really use it that much, is it really worth that money? So that's just something to take in consideration. So definitely check out the new Zhang Yi optics lens for the Nikon Z mount cameras. And uh, hopefully they give me a link for you guys to share. All right, so that's it for this video. Hopefully it helps you guys out. Take care. Bye-bye.